Crimea is a peninsula located in the south of Ukraine. It is truly one of the most beautiful places on our planet. For centuries until now, the Crimean Peninsula has been inhabited by more than 100 ethnic groups. During World War II, the Stalin regime forcefully deported Crimean Tatars and other ethnic groups from the peninsula. Over the last decades, thousands of formerly deported people have been returning to their historical motherland. The influx of such a great number of people created tensions between the returnees and the local population. The situation has been worsened by the poor economic situation in the region. Rural areas like gas, water and electricity supply, the unemployment rate is high. However, shared difficulties can bring people of different backgrounds together for addressing their common problems. UNDP Crimea Integration and Development Program has applied this postulate into practice. Over the last years, the Crimea Integration and Development Program has been developing a community-based alternative public service delivery mechanism uh, that is adjusted to the particular circumstances of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea. As such, it is heavily relying on the active participation of people of different ethnic groups in the realization and decision-making about the program. In this way, the projects have contributed to bringing people of different ethnic backgrounds together again after their return from deportation. Lack of water supply is the most urgent problem for many Crimean villages. People still use wells and rivers as a source of drinking water. We had no other choice. Even though the river was very dirty, it was our only source of water. We'd put on rubber boots, take buckets and go there for water. With the support of the Crimea Integration and Development Program, rural inhabitants organized themselves into self-help community organizations, which aim at solving common problems. Such community organizations become equal partners with local authorities in development and implementation of community-based initiatives. During the joint meetings, village inhabitants identify priority projects, calculate the costs, and define the partners' contributions. In the process of project implementation, the residents are active participants. They interact with each other regardless of ethnic background and strengthen partnerships with local authorities. Thus, a more positive attitude towards authorities develops, which makes residents more motivated and encouraged to improve their own lives rather than blame the government for their problems. With the support of the governments of Canada, Switzerland, Netherlands and others, the project was piloted and implemented in almost 100 villages throughout the peninsula. Today, this has created or generated a big interest within the governments of Ukraine and Crimea to apply these models in their own structures and they have requested our support in decentralizing public service delivery in Crimea. Each year, district budgets allocate funds for joint projects with the Crimea Integration and Development Program. Over more than 10 years of partnership, many problems concerning water supply infrastructure in multi-ethnic Crimean villages have been resolved in close cooperation with the residents. Such teamwork allows not only for more efficient use of funds, but provides better sustainability of projects. People feel responsible for the projects they participate in. We really like this approach. In today's situation, authorities are not able to solve the problems of the rural population by themselves. The great advantage of such development projects is the involvement of both communities and authorities. Our relationship improves and people no longer complain but take part in problem solving. People feel more empowered as citizens and want to be involved in village life and improve their livelihood. To contribute to projects, inhabitants collect small amounts of money and provide in-kind contributions. We are digging the trenches, laying the pipes and linking up every household to our new water supply system. We are very motivated to work. We know it's our project and we will be the ones to use it. Common cause brings people together. Russians, Greeks, Crimean Tatars, Ukrainians all work together. There is no time left for inter-ethnic disputes. And when the project is complete and water pipes bring water to households, this is common joy and common victory. Villages are changing. Greenhouses appear on places of dry kitchen gardens. Regular irrigation leads to increased harvest. The agricultural surplus can now be sold at the local market. 
well-being of the residents improves, thus enhancing the economy of the entire district. The finished water supply system is maintained and operated by a community-based enterprise under the close supervision of the residents. Water tariffs are fixed and a community savings fund is established to maintain and repair the system if needed. Such transparency ensures full and timely payments for water. All residents installed water meters in their households and the main water meter for the entire village. Households are charged according to the readings of the meter and we have no problems with timely payments for water. Till present, in 12 districts of Crimea, more than 400 community organizations have been established. The projects they implemented serve a good example for replication throughout Crimea. Due to joint work of the residents, local and Crimean authorities and the Crimea Integration and Development Program, tens of thousands of people have received access to safe drinking water.